Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. So excited to be here kicking off today's Magnolia Creative Meetup. You are in for a treat. I hope you have something to sip on, something to snack on, to enjoy all 12 of the creators that are going to be presenting for you today. So if you see that red live button there, that means you are watching me live. I am on right now, like I said, to kick off our creative meetup. So as you're hopping on, please say hey in the chat and I'll know that I'm not just here talking to myself. So that would be great if you um, say hey in the chat and um up in the description or down below the video, wherever it shows up for you, is um, the link to the person who's after me. That is Marie. And um, then she will link to the next person and the next person and the next person. I will actually be back on at 5 p.m. Eastern because we had someone had to drop out at the last second. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Sean. Hey, Dusty. Hey, Carla. Hey, Carlene. Hey, Liz. We're, um, we're in for a treat, I think, today, and um, I'm excited to be kicking us off. So 30 minutes is not very much time. I know, Sean, right? Get started. So Marie is after me, and then like I said, I will be coming up again a little bit later with a different project. Now I have this wood cutting board. I think it's from Tamu, but I've seen... Okay, and somebody got on me the other day. So I used to say Timu like everyone else. And then supposedly, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but supposedly there was a Timu, Timu commercial and they pronounced it Timu. So however you say it, that is where this cutting board is from, I believe. But I have seen this size and shape at Michael's, but you can use whatever you want. I just, because I have 30 minutes, I already got started painting it. I'm using plaster, which seems to be my theme today <laughs> for background colors. If you watched my earlier live, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I'm just going to do something simple using this cutting board and one or two, I haven't decided yet, of my Magnolia stencils. So did anyone... Uh, recognize my sweatshirt yet? Didn't it turn out good? So this is what I made Tuesday on Facebook. I think maybe I could have gone a little bit higher with the words and I will tell you that I did do the yellow a second time after it had all dried. I put the stencil back on and just went over the yellow again because um, you could kind of see the gray heathering through the yellow. So I'm excited about my new sweatshirt, and when you come back at five, you're going to see me wearing the other shirt that I made that day. So, broken crayons, still color. Love it. I did the exact same colors that they did in the catalog. I just did mine on a gray sweatshirt instead of a black t-shirt. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. And if you are not following my page already or any of the pages that will be coming on the meetup. I hope you will do that. And um, that helps us a lot. That I think makes Facebook like maybe give our or show our videos to new people. So that would be very, very helpful to everyone. All right, I'm just going to paint this front side. If I have time later, I'll do the back. And you know me, if you know me, you know I'll probably do a second project another time on the back side. All right, I just want to dry this enough that I can sand it smooth. And lay our stencil down. Thank you. And this does count as a live that you can sprinkle and possibly get your name on the wheel for Butterfly Blessings at the end of the month. If you don't know how to sprinkle, it's the little arrow button. And usually people sprinkle a live crafting video to their personal um, 
Facebook feed, but if you're in other groups, you can sprinkle it there as well. Thank you, Linda. Okay, I had used a little 220 um, to sand my cutting board a little bit. There were like where it was beveled on the sides, there were some, uh, what would you call it? Frayed edges, kind of. Um, but then once I painted, I go over lightly with 400 grit, pretty much just on the surface that I'm going to be stenciling, just to make it nice and smooth, a nice smooth surface for my stencil. All right. Like I said, this project is going to be pretty simple. I love our flower stencils, and this one is Growing Grace. I believe this one came out last spring. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Marlene. I think this was last spring. We're just going to use the flower, and then my idea is either just to do the flower, or I was thinking of adding the words from one of our Faith Minis. Um, I'm trying to think which one would go with the flower. I kind of like either Pray, Trust, Wait or Child of God. Maybe Faith Over... I mean, there's a lot of them that you could do. But for now, I'm going to um, put my cutting board on my backer sheet. And this is... I've used this so many times. It's not all that sticky anymore. Um... But I think I want to put the flower down towards the bottom. What do you guys think? And then do some words at the top. Should I do words above or should I move the flower up and do, I'm probably going to stop there and then do a mini words at the bottom. What do you think? Words at the top or words at the bottom? This flower is about the exact width of this cutting board. What do you guys think? Flower or words at the top or words at the bottom? I kind of like faith over fear. Next to this. Oh, I'm not going to put the Bible reference. I was just going to leave that off. I was going to leave that off and actually just stop the stem kind of where those two pieces are and then put words underneath. Okay, I'm seeing two for the top and two for the bottom. Okay. Uh, my, my first inclination is to do it at the top, but I think that's because I always do that. So I think I'm going to fight that urge, and I'm going to do words at the bottom. You know what even would be cute? If I could somehow make something that was sticking out that made it look like a little... Um, a little pocket or a little can or something that the flower was in. Do you know what I'm saying? I just don't know what that would be and if I could pull that off in the next 22 minutes. All right. I do have a couple flowers that are going to kind of go off the edge, but that's okay. And I think I was trying to debate between these two colors for the flower, either glittering rose gold or French rose. I thought about maybe mixing. What do we think about that? Maybe mixing those two together for a lighter. I got too many big things back here now. Let's see. Let's just try this. That's probably way too much glittery and rose gold. Oh, wait. Okay, the glittering rose gold kind of tones down the French rose. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, let me show you. So here's glittering rose. I don't know if you can tell. This has a little bit more of the pink in it, but look how much lighter it is than the French rose. Okay, so I think we're going to do this for the flower. If 
thought I pulled out some. There they are. And then I'm going to do fern green for a piece of jute. Oh, do you mean burlap? The, the only thing is then I can't put the stencil on it. I can't put the words. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to think about that. Maybe I should have taken a little bit more time planning my project. All right. Ooh, I like this color that I made. That's really pretty. All right, let's get our excess. Don't know if how well words will turn out on the burlap, but we can try it. Okay, so fern green, I'm just gonna go to there. And all of our leaves. Oh, it's so dainty. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Marie. Brown cardboard pot. Yeah. Um, that's pretty. What do you guys think of that color that I made? I mixed French rose and glittering rose gold. I think that turned out nice. I see one little thing on my stem. There. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. I think it's so pretty. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, so I could do chipboard, chipboard that's flat, but raise it out a little bit to look like a pot. What if you stenciled words on drop cloth, duck cloth, then glued that onto burlap? Yeah, I'm trying to think of something I can do in the next 15 minutes. Let me grab a piece of chipboard. I know I have lots of scraps that will be big enough. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is if I cut, cut a pot shape, and then I could even paint it. Chipboard would work. Yes, it would. All right, so if I just, let's see, where's my straight edge? This one. All right. All right, let me get my trimmer here. I just love this flower. So that's the flower from the Grow With Grace stencil. All right, let's get this trimmed down a little bit. And I usually use a, a blade that I have specifically for my chipboard, but I don't want you guys to have to wait while I change out my blade. Okay. All right. And then I went to about here. There we go. 
All right. So the rest I think I'm going to have to cut. by hand. So I'm going to go down half, three quarters of an inch on each side. And then I'm going to come in three quarters of an inch to cut my diagonal. Let's see. I want to go there. need to go in or I could just yeah I'm gonna just make it angle from there I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm doing <laughs> all right can somebody report those please oh, I think I blocked them all right so I'm gonna go at an angle it the wrong way. Nope. <sighs> Sorry, that threw me off a little bit, our little uh, friend there. Okay, and then three quarters and three quarters. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this at the angle now to make our little pot shape. And you know what, if I don't like it, I don't have to use it, right? Oop, moved while I was cutting. All right, what do we think about that? Does it look like a little pot? And I can even make this darker. That's gonna fit. Oh, that's cute. Okay, what color do I, what color do I paint my little pot? Should I do it like, um, like the orangey kind of terracotta color? You know what might look good would be, I think I'm going to use Intense Rust. This is kind of like a terracotta pot look. Okay, let's scoop some out because we remember, we don't want to stick a paintbrush in there. So I'm going to scoop some out on a squeegee and paint from there. Probably way more than I need. Ooh, that's a perfect color for a terracotta pot, I think. So yes, you can paint with your chalk paste. Okay. Probably don't need to worry about the sides too much, but I have enough here, so I'll go ahead. So definitely one of those little seed starter pots that Joey and I decorated at Celebration on a Live together. Those would work because you could cut it and it's curved. But I think this will work. And I want to use, see I'm just going to cut some with my scissors. I want to use a couple layers of this to raise my pot out a little bit. I think that would be cute. So let's just cut four little strips. Okay. And that's not super thick, but it'll just give it a little bit of dimension. So let me get my glitter glue, which I need to get a new lid for. Okay, 
going to glue two layers of the chipboard together just to put behind our pot to raise it out, make it stand out. All right, let's dry this so we can stencil our words on it. And I want to just make a mark where the, you know, where the lip, the lip of the pot would be or the rim, whatever you'd call that. I'm just going to use my Sharpie and just kind of lightly go over that. Okay. Just make a little line there. All right, let's get our faith over fear. Like this, I like this. Uh-oh. <gasps> Somebody put this stencil on the wrong. It wasn't me, because I never do that. Somebody used this and then put it back on the back side. Oh, I think I salvaged it, though. All right, faith over fear. Let's center this on our little pot that we made. And I'm gonna use, almond latte is close to the plaster color that I did on the background. Okay, so don't forget to sprinkle to get your name possibly in for my March Butterfly Blessings. And I want to thank my friend Joey because I used to go through and tally all the sprinkles of all the videos and that was a lot of work. I like this, her idea of using three from each live. It's going to make it so much easier. Wow, this turned out good. What do you guys think about that? Oh yeah, so the Faith Over Fear is part of our Faith Minis. I'm pretty sure they're still available. You get 12 kind of faith-themed sayings. So that's what's going to go on here. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff out. What do you guys think of our little pot idea? Let's dry that. Oh, I got seven minutes. Okay. And I could get fancy and come in here with my squeegee and go around the edges if I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue my pieces on the back that I made so that this will stand out a little bit. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, so I'm just putting it at an angle on the back here. Not right up to the edge, but a little bit in. Let that dry for a second. The other thing I have for the top of this cutting board is I have some ribbon. I have this pretty, I went, um, Hobby Lobby had their ribbon. I think I might use both of these. It's a slightly different pink, but I think I'm gonna make a bow of some sort with both of those ribbons. The cream lace, oops, I dropped my squeegee in my intense rust. Okay, I just need to get lids at least setting on these so they don't make a mess. Okay, so that was almond latte was the color that I stenciled the words on our little pot. I'm gonna still have some wet paint. That is so cute. You know what I wanna do real quick? I don't know if it's gonna do much. I just wanna kinda sand 
the edges of my pot. Bring it back a little bit to that chipboard. You know, I gotta say sometimes the best projects are the ones where you kind of improvised a little bit as you went. Okay, see that on the edges? Just gives it a little bit more. Oh, I love that. What do you guys think? Okay, let's get the hot glue. And while this is heating up, it's charged, it just needs to heat up. Let's cut our ribbon for going around the top. I think I'm gonna do this lacy one first. I'm gonna maybe just even knot it and let it kind of hang down. So I'm gonna cut a decent length of it here. forget how to do the knots so that they hang down. I don't want them to hang up. Okay, I think that means I have to do one more time. There we go. Okay, so there's our lace. Let it hang down a little bit. Just angle my edges. Okay, and then this one is so cute. It's a thin ribbon. Have you guys seen this one? It's got like pom-poms on either side. It's so adorable. So with this one, I'm going to make my two loops, cross them, go under, flip that around. I'm just going to make a simple bow with this. And my knot for my lace is pretty big, but I think I can still glue the bow on top of it. Oops. What do you guys think? That's gonna be cute. All right, this I want to fluff the bow parts a little bit and just angle these. Okay, that's gonna go on there. And we're going to glue our little pot down here that says faith over fear. Oops, I <laughs> forgot that wasn't glued on yet. We're almost there. What do you guys think? Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Thank you, thank you. Come back at five, I'll have something else. Another quick 30 minute project for you. And like I said, when, oh, thanks Carla. When my video is done, when my live is done, go back to the top of it and click on the link to go to Marie's page, which is Copeland's Creations, and um, and then she will link to the person who's going after her, and so on and so forth. Let me get that other stencil in the water. All right, everybody understand the process. And so uh, we're gonna go all the way till Amy will be the last one. She's starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. I think it's 9 p.m. her time, but 10 p.m. Eastern and she'll do the last half hour. So we've got, what is that, seven hours? Seven hours for you guys. Oh, okay, I think my hot glue is ready. Let's quick glue our bow to the center of our knot. Let that dry. 
And then I'm gonna put glue just on my two raised parts here that I built up with some chipboard. I love it. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I think that turned out so cute. Would it be too much to put a little bit of this pink and white ribbon across the top of the pot? Or the lace? Bring, bring one of these down here. Which one? The pink ribbon or the lace? Ooh, the lace would be pretty. Yep, doing it. Okay, cut it just a slightly bigger. That's the finishing touch right there. And then I'll trim it in a second when it's dry. So cute. All right, hop over to Marie. 